brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Like mayors, their employees are on call just about 24-7. Whether it's in times of emergency, cleaning illegal dumps, or calls of help in the middle of the night, Mayor's Council of Guam Executive Director Angel Sablon says mayor's staffers are always there. These are staff that are unclassified. They, um, they don't earn any overtime, uh, night differential, hazardous pay. Um, so it's just straight time, even though they, most, many of them work even on weekends to support the functions of the village. For many mayor's office employees, they haven't seen an increment in over a decade, and they're hoping that will change. It's justified a long overdue because... Uh, Many of them, they're, they're still basically getting, uh, what, 11, 11 12 an hour. And uh, soon they're going to be at a level where they're going to be the same as people earning minimum wage. So we just needed to do something. The Mayor's Council of Guam during the recent meeting approved a motion to include in their proposed budget to give employees much-needed increments. To uh, be able to incentivize our, our, uh, our staff because... You know, they can go and find some other jobs, probably someplace that are less stressful and uh, less demanding and for, for a better pay. So in order for us to keep them and continue working for the villagers, so we've been continually asking the legislature almost every year in our budget bills uh, to do something to uh, increase their salaries. And according to Sablon, they'll be going to the legislature again. In total, what is the mayor's council requesting? Approximately 235000 for 173 employees. The council will start by petitioning their oversight chair, Senator Peter Terlahi, to support their request for mayor's staff raises. Raises, something Senator Peter Terlahi is very familiar with. In 2019, he gave $23,000 in raises to five of his staffers. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.